Hello everybody, this is the Structures Guy, and today we're talking about the engineering of the Rui Bridge in China. For a while, some people thought this bridge was fake, but in fact it is not, and it definitely looks like a fantasy bridge. The structural design of this bridge is different from a typical bridge design, as it is made of a hybrid structural system, but more on that later. Linking the two cliffs of the Xingxin Zhu scenic spot in Xingxiang, the 100 meter long Rui Bridge looks like a huge eye from a distance and perfectly blends into the beautiful surroundings. The bridge was designed by He Yang Chang, a structural engineer with an extensive expertise in steel structures at the China Middle Structure Association. He Yang Chang was also involved in the design of other remarkable structures, most notably Beijing's Pearl's Nest which was part of the 2008 Olympic Games. Rui Bridge sits 140 meters or 459 feet high above the Xingxinxiang Zhu Valley, spanning 100 meter long or about 328 feet long between the cliffs. It's made up of three wavy bridges and part of its deck is made of transparent glass allowing pedestrians to view the valley below the bridge which is something most people are afraid to do. The design of the bridge was meant to blend in with its natural environment, and the shape of the bridge was inspired by the Rui shape, which is curved and symbolizes power and good fortune in the Chinese culture. The Rui bridge has a peculiar shape. Viewed horizontally, it is hyperbolic. The intersection in the middle is like an eye in the sky. According to the official account for the Xinjiang Zhu scenic area, the bridge was proposed in 2017, construction of the Rui Bridge began in 2017 as well, and the bridge was finally completed in September of 2020. After its opening, the bridge has already welcomed more than 200,000 visitors. The structural design for the Rui Bridge is quite interesting as it was driven by the architectural choice for the, for the bridge being the Rui shape. The bridge is a combination of an apple arch that concaves downwards in the middle portion of the bridge in addition to the two arches on the side of the bridge, both of which concave downwards, then upwards and lastly downwards. Those two arches are connected in the middle by a smaller bridge that allows pedestrians to cross from one side to the other. The middle arch of the bridge is connected to the two arches of the bridge via cables, meaning the middle portions of those two arches are suspended from the middle arch via cables to transfer loads. Moreover, you can see that at either ends of the bridge, there are truss bridges connecting the arches using curved members forming a curved quadrilaterals and curved triangles. Those arches transfer all the loads to the truss at both ends, which in turn transfer the loads to the foundation embedded into the rocks, as you can see here. In essence, this bridge is a truss bridge, a suspension bridge, and an arch bridge, all designed as one bridge. There are a lot of impressive pedestrian bridges and vehicular traffic bridges in China, and the Rui Bridge is certainly an impressive work of engineering and architecture. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. See you next time!